I have a tired old 3D printer uh, which cost me next to nothing and it's been working like a dog and I've been long talking about upgrading it but before I can upgrade it there's some core pieces I need to replace and this mailbag is all about that. So if you don't care about 3D printing this one may not be for you. First ones up are these. Um, I had ordered one and then realized I have two uh, Tronxy printers that use the same hot end. So I figured I would order two of these. So one was ordered August 5th, arrived on the 20th, the one August 8th, but combined and also arrived on the 20th. So what are these? Well, these are fully loaded hot ends. But the things about these is that they are all metal. I believe they're trying to emulate the Micro Swiss style uh, hot end, but these are direct replacements to what came on my Tronxy printers, so both of them. So I have the X3A and the X5SA. Um, the X3A was the one that I paid very little money for, and the X5SA um, cost me actually very little as well because I bought it used. Um, so yeah, these things for under 10 bucks, they come with the 24 volt uh, heater cartridge and they're all metal hot end. So basically you can heat these up real hot and have great results with them. Oh, except for one thing I can see. Well, that's weird. The their mister on them just slides in like that. Huh. I hope that's okay. But anyways, what, what the deal is, is that uh, these guys these guys don't have the PE, uh, uh, PTFE uh, tubing going all the way down to right near the throat. And so you can print um, things like PETG a lot easier with this without worrying about melting the um, PT, PTFE tubing. So I have been starting to print with um, PTFE, P, PETG, um, which has been great. The only thing is I just worry about overheating, you know, the, the, the tubing. So I got this, which should be a lot better. And the fact that it was dirt cheap and came with all the parts. Interestingly, this one doesn't have the plug at the end. This one does? No, it doesn't. Okay. It's just the uh, heater cartridge, the uh, thermistor that has the plug. Same as this. So I don't have to do any work. I can literally just slip these two out, right? The heater cartridge and the thermistor and slip it back in and this thing should need no adjustment. It should work right off the bat, has 0.4 millimeter nozzle already on it. And these days I am looking for stuff that is that simple. So I've got this, and I think this is gonna be a simple upgrade to the hot end, and I won't worry about melting the P PTFE tube. Next one up is this one here. I had to open it uh, because yeah, I wasn't sure what was inside. This was ordered August 8th, arrives on the 17th, and $37.60. But this is one of those things where the more you buy, the less you pay in shipping, so it's actually better value. So this thing has got quite a few things inside. So first of all, there's these two uh, silicone socks, which are for the hot ends that I bought. So that fits like that, uh, except I didn't actually buy these. This was a gift from the seller who packaged all of this together. So that's pretty nice. That these are about uh, you know two for a buck fifty, something like that. Then I've got this, which are the heater blocks, sort of for this, uh, for these hot ends, except that they are made of copper and they are plated with tin. So they'll have more thermal mass, which means that the temperature won't fluctuate as much. So it's a bit, it'll be a little bit heavier, but I think this design of hot end can take that. And so, yeah, this is, this is gonna be pretty nice, an upgrade to the temperature stability of these guys. So there's two of them because I bought two hot ends, that makes sense. 
and then I bought a whole ton of fans. Now these fans are mostly 24 volt fans. I think they might be all 24 volt fans. And I bought them because of that custom 3D printer that I'm working on. Um, I'm still working on the uh, sort of the hot end and the cooling. And so I got a bunch of these fans. And so basically everything you see on this box here was 3760, which is pretty cheap. So let me show you what I got. I think these are uh, 40 millimeter fans. So that would be like what cools your hot end, sort of like this. So that's pretty neat. I got three of those. And basically what I did is I just increased the amount of each item that I added until the shipping went up to something more expensive and then I just dropped it back down from one. There's these uh, blower style fans and I believe both these style fans go on the Voron style like the stealth uh, you know hot end hot end thing. So these blower style fans I got four of them again 24 volts and this is usually used for parts cooling and so uh, I mean I have to design some sort of shroud uh, which I will do but I just need these to you know build to envelope sort of thing so I can design I kind of need these things in hand or else I, I'm not really good at designing around them and then there are these blower styles these are the kinds that you'll find on an Ender 3 so I've got three of these and these are the same sort of principle. They'll sit beside a hot end and blow downwards. And you can, you know, more easily make the make it duct. I think these will be a little bit harder to work with, but they're more output. These guys are a little bit louder, but um, might give that a try too. So these are, you know, Ender 3 style. These are like Voron style, and these are just generic sort of 40 millimeter. Is it 40 millimeter? looks like 30 millimeter actually um, hot end cooler so whole bunch of parts like I said this printer is going to get upgraded very shortly uh, and what's great about these parts for the most part is I can upgrade it without changing you know the main board and stuff um, just these guys will have to move to a 24 volt power supply we're going to see about that eventually next one up is this one here $1.61 uh, August 5th to August 20th and this is the one I did order there we go yeah that's what I wanted so this silicone sock uh, is actually this silicone sock but just the updated version so that fits over um, sort of like so there we go and it covers a lot more of the block so I ordered these silicone socks and when I got this in the box I opened a case against the seller who I, I ordered this and it had turned out that these were just you know they had arrived as a gift and these are the ones I was actually waiting for so I'm glad these came in as you can see like they have like cutouts so it actually like wraps around the um, the, the posts here which is pretty nice it's gonna all get tightened down and stuff so yeah the point of these silicone socks is that filament doesn't stick to them so if you get like a, a curl up and and it touches this it won't stick to it it'll just come right off which is the point and I got a couple of these silicone socks they also keep the temperature stable so it allows you to uh, you know again uh, have less temperature fluctuation inside this thing so yeah pretty simple as you can see the mountain of parts is growing here's the next one three dollars and 79 cents August 5th to August 20th um, this is something that all 3d print enthusiasts should have on hand uh, but I didn't and now I do these are uh, toothbrushes and more specifically brass toothbrushes and you use these to clean the hot ends you you know you do the warm-up cycle on your 3d printer and then you clean all the junk off the hot ends if not you can get some black splotches from burnt filament sticking to your print and in fact in the project that I have upcoming with PETG because of the higher temperatures I got way more black deposits on my stuff and the fact that um, I was printing with white PETG made it even worse so yeah get some brushes uh, now I have three 3d printers so I have 
three brushes, but I'm going to be honest with you, I just increased the amount I added to cart until the shipping went up and then decreased it by one. That's the strategy for shopping on AliExpress. Would you guys be interested in a guide on how I shop on AliExpress? Because uh, I totally do that as long as you guys wanted it. The before last package, the penultimate package, um, August 5th to September 3rd, big package and it was only three bucks shipping included. I'm gonna be careful here because I don't want to cut into the item. But this is another temperature stability thing. Yeah, so this is uh, insulation foam. I believe it's adhesive. It is, yep. Yeah. So what you do is you stick this under your uh, heated surface and it adheres to it and then it insulates it. So your heated surface, like your heated bed, will get warmer faster. It'll retain more temperature. It'll, you know, send less temperature into the room uh, and it should stay more stable. So yeah, that's all that, this all, all this is. Just a little piece of foam, piece of foil on the bottom and an adhesive side and you just stick it to the bottom of your uh, heated bed. My uh, X5SA printer has one of these and I find the bottom is actually cool. My uh, Tronxy uh, X3A is actually uh, quite warm on the bottom. So I figured a $3 little upgrade, especially for the amount I'll be printing, totally worth it. And the very last part now, uh, again, very long one. August 5th to September 3rd, $27.90. This one was expensive. Um, however, the the ones of these that came with my 3D printer, the um, X3A, they were actually bent from the factory. And it's caused some issues from time to time, so I figured it's time for new ones. Okay, here's little brass nuts that it comes with. Two, three, four. These have been banging around inside this box all the way from China. So I'm not expecting these to be in perfect shape. I am hoping that they're going to be straight though. Whoa. So these are lead screws. And again, same strategy. I just put as much in the cart as I could without the uh, shipping price going up. That seems pretty straight. Seems pretty straight. By God, I think they're straight. That's good. So yeah, these are uh, lead screws and the brass nuts that goes with them. And these are an eight millimeter lead screw. So for every single rotation, you'll move the nut uh, eight millimeters up or down. And yeah, so the nut on mine is starting to get pretty worn now, but it doesn't matter because this is bent as hell on on my 3D printer on the um, X3A, what's happening is that when it turns, when it's spinning, you can see it wobble sort of like this. And that means this nut has to sort of be free to move in its mountings. And I think it's causing inconsistencies in uh, you know the Z height. So now I have four new ones, you know, again, two and four were nearly the same price. So you might as well, you know, 2790 divided by four is not all that bad. It's something like, I don't know, $6, something like that, $7 each. And uh, these things, I mean, they've, the bent ones have lasted me several years. Hopefully, hopefully these things will last just as long. And the extra ones will be spares or they might become a CNC machine if I ever, uh, get off my butt long enough to do them. See how this here can be driven a lot easier than a belt and pulley system? So yeah, just the thought that might be in the future. And so that's it for the 3D printer upgrade bonanza. Uh, so like I said, some of these things will be done uh, much sooner than others. Like um, these rods, I can replace them right now without changing any of the software, as well as these nuts. Uh, got them, as well as uh, the the all metal hot ends. I just need to pull the thermistor and the uh, heat cartridge out of mine and put this put this one on, and then retune the Z height with the new um, nozzle. 
Uh, the fans I will not be able to use because I need to switch to 24 volt system. And if I change the 24 volt system, that means I am uh, upgrading the main board, which is something I plan on doing at some point, but not soon. Uh, and this, the uh, insulator, I'm going to stick that on the hotbed as well. The, the issue with um, changing hotbeds and, you know, power supplies and all this stuff is that the auto leveling on the X3A is done inductively. So when you change the bed material, it changes the uh, inductive pickup. So the Z height doesn't become accurate. So I will upgrade the main board. In fact, Banggood had sent me a main board a while ago to use to upgrade, but That'll be a major change, and at the moment, I just want to take little baby steps with it. Let me know in the comments below if you're interested in the um, upgrade series, where I show you how to put a new uh, hot end on. I'm also going to put the copper hot end, do some before and after benches and all the stuff like that. And um, thank you to my Patreon patrons, uh, who have lost a couple, understandably, in my absence. Um, but uh, even those who left, I still thank you because you were part of uh, the ordering of all this stuff. Thanks for watching.